Hello everyone, welcome to FX Street. Today we're going to be talking about Polygon and how bulls are jumping in at the right moment to avoid a bear trend. But before we dive into the technicals, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FX Street Crypto to be updated on the hottest trends in cryptocurrency markets. Looking at Matic or Polygon, uh, first of all, I would still always like to start with uh, the favorite uh, trend channel that we still have here. And although it looked very promising back in February, but it got rejected, price action got rejected there three times in a row, and then a price action reverted further south to the downside. All in all, still today, for the third consecutive day in a row, uh, Matic is on the front foot, back up again, with a very nice technical setup, if you look at it. We had perfect pairing back at the entry point here, which was low from the candle of yesterday, of the day before, on the 27th of February. 28th of February, start, bounce off, break below, break above, sorry, $1.57. We came back for a test the day after, on the 1st of March. Use it as a bounce off to in order to break the daily pivot, but we couldn't get a close above. But still, no worries. Uh, we still go for the further upside, as you can see at the moment that I'm recording this video, we are at $1.66 above the monthly pivot. So if we could get a close above there, expect then to see one seventy five to come to the picture by tomorrow. And then possibly if we can uh, break through this area, go to even $2 or $2.05 uh, further upwards by the end of the week. The reason why I'm referring to the possible bear trend that was at hand, that is because of the fact that the 55-day simple moving average, the purple line here, and the 200-day moving average, uh, if you can see here on the blue line, are converging towards each other. So risk was that the 55 would break below, and that, of course, means the famous debt cross that would get formed with the 55-day trading below the 200-day, and that would trigger more... Uh, downside risk and downside moves. But at, for the moment, with the consecutive winning streak, uh, for the moment, that looks to be avoided. So a fourth day of uh, a bullish candle would avert this 55-day moving average away from the 200. But all in all, a very tough range probably with the 200, the historical 175 level, and then the 55-day uh, all three coinciding. And you have this small, a bit less important trend line, but still good to have it up there because that could be just the one too many in the resistances that bulls are facing. Um, but still, RSI looks pretty healthy as well. We are still uh, around the 50 level, so we still have quite some room to go to. So as long as bulls can sit on their hand and refrain from taking profit in this area here, expect to see $2 by the end of this week. Of course, uh, with all this sentiment hangs on a thread, of course, uh, should uh, the situation in Ukraine deteriorate any further, could well be that we see a complete collapse of the price action back to $1.57. That's the handle here. And then maybe even depending on the severity of the news and the headlines coming in, for example, should put in uh, use nuclear weapons or attack beyond Ukraine, for example, expect them to see a complete and sharp uh, falling knife, nose dive move to $1.30, holding there for the moment as that coincides a little bit with the low of this year. Um, we could see $1.25 maybe. So between $1.30, $1.25, expect there to land in case we should see some further deterioration of geopolitical news in the coming days. That's it for Polygon. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FX Street Crypto.